Today, we're gonna to be looking at removing the top from an Adkin swing press. So firstly, what we need to do is we need to remove these two bolts here. And what we're gonna need for this is a four millimeter Allen key of any description. After we remove these two bolts, we're gonna need a punch like this to remove a very small, it's quite hard to see here, but there is a little pin, a split pin that goes through the handle on the top of the machine. Now that split pin is actually what holds the handle on. So if that split pin's gone, the handle will just twist off. So we're gonna to have to punch that out using a punch and some form of mallet. And I also like to use some form of microfiber cloth as well on top of the machine like this. So that when we are, if I show you here, when we are trying to get the punch through, hitting it with the hammer, our punch isn't scratching the top of the machine. So they're the parts or the tools that you're going to need to take this off. So all we need to do here is begin to unscrew the bolts on the top here. So now whilst I do this, it's probably also quite important to mention that you shouldn't be trying this unless you're very confident around electrics. The machines, of course, do carry quite a heavy current through them, so you need to be very careful when removing bolts and parts. Firstly, ensure the machine is unplugged like this. You've got to make sure the machine's unplugged so there's no electric going through it. You've got to make sure the machine is cold as well. That can also be really important. And finally, I like to do a few clicks of the switch like that just to make sure that all the power is gone from the machine if the switch lights up and it stays lit up just leave it on until the switch turns off and that'll just make sure that all of the uh, sort of leftover electric's gone from the machine and then finally we're just going to unscrew these bolts here so now this bolt can sometimes be a bit of pain which you can see here it's sort of getting stuck in there best thing to do is just undo it as much as you can and then we're going to go to the top and we're going to try and pop the top off here. So the really important thing when trying to get this split pin out of here, I hope we can see that quite clearly. See the silver split pin there? Is try and hit it from both sides. So first thing we're going to try from this side. So I'm going to put over my cloth. Clamp the handle down so the machine doesn't rotate or swing. And I'm just going to try and pop the split pin out this way. Now, I got it right the first time. However, you might notice that the split pin won't budge. So if this pin here isn't moving when you're hitting it with the punch and the hammer, then that normally means you're going the wrong way. So it's probably quite hard to see. If I try and focus onto my hand here, the split pin is bigger on one end than it is on the other. Yeah, it's all, almost impossible to see, but it is. Um, which means that when you're trying to punch it through, if you're going the wrong way, you can actually break the handle quite easily. It's just a plastic handle. So you need to be very careful not to break it. Um, as you can see here, this is the handle. This is where the pin goes through. You see that little hole there? You wanna make sure you hit it from the right side. You can see where over time, this is our demo unit here, over time it started to, to wear away. Now that's quite normal, so you don't need to worry too much about that. Um, but it's just from repeated, you know, getting it off. So effectively the idea, make sure you hit it from the correct way. Try from one side. If it doesn't budge with a nice light tap, then try from the other side and try again. Eventually you'll hit a point where it's nice and easy to remove. Once you've done that, top cover should be relatively easy to remove. You should just be able to lift it off, turn it to the right, and it should sit nice and comfortably just like that. Now, if I move the camera to the left a little bit here, I might move it to the other side just to show you here. This cover should sit like this nice and easily. However, some machines, it's not gonna sit like this. It won't go completely 180. And that's because this wire, here, or this sheathed wire is normally stuck around the edges of the machine. We actually remove that because we don't find that it really helps at all, it doesn't really stop anything um, 
from happening. So if your machine's never been opened before and never been repaired, more than likely you'll find this sheath will be stuck around the edge and you can't flip it all the way over. If it is, feel free just to remove the sticky pads and then you should be able to remove the machine nice and easy like that. Now a nice thing to inspect is the back of the micro switch here, which you can see. You can see here where we have our spade connectors connected in. You can see if you look very carefully, you can see there is sort of no damage or no melting or anything brown.